Do you know who is the wealthiest man in Chinese history, aside from emperors? Today, let's dive into the story of Hessian. According to the Wall Street Journal, Hershen was included in the top 50 richest individuals globally in the year 2001. His wealth even surpassed that of the Rothschild family during the same period, making him the world's richest person in the 17th century. Hershen was notorious for his corruption and bribery during the Qing Dynasty in China. Various records provide different amounts for his ill-gotten wealth, with one figure suggesting a fortune ranging from 800 million to 1.1 billion tails of silver. This wealth included gold, silver, antiques, and treasures. To put this in perspective, the annual revenue of the Qing Dynasty was 70 million tails. Hessian's ill-gotten wealth equated to the total income of the Qing government over 15 years. If we convert this to modern currency, using the current price of silver at 3.5 wen per gram, the value would be around 200 billion wen, around 30 billion dollars. However, a direct conversion may not be entirely accurate due to differences in purchasing power. Nevertheless, Hessian's vast wealth, especially his collection of precious ceramics, antiques, calligraphy, and paintings, was unparalleled. From the 55th to the 60th year of Qianlong's reign, half of the tax revenue went into Hessian's pockets. He utilized various methods to accumulate wealth, including aiding cheating in imperial examinations, buying and selling official positions, and introducing a system called crime money, allowing officials to pay a certain amount to avoid punishment for wrongdoing. Hessian also had significant business dealings with the British East India Company and the Canton 13 Hongs, profiting immensely from the trade of Chinese silk and tea. His own enterprises included pawn shops, silver shops, and extensive farmland, providing both income and a means to launder his ill-gotten gains. Haitian's luxurious residence, the Prince Kung's Mansion, located in present-day Beijing, was built over five years and had 513 rooms, covering an area of 60,000 square meters. The economic value of just the 68 golden Nanmu pillars in his house, considering modern standards, would be at least 27.2 billion USD. His collection of pearls, gemstones, jewelry, and various precious artifacts had an estimated total value of around $4.05 billion. Hessian was not only in a high position, but his eldest son also married the 10th princess of Emperor Qianlong, further solidifying his wealth and power. Despite embezzling half of the Qing dynasty's annual financial revenue, Emperor Qianlong chose not to punish Hessian due to his charm, intelligence, and valuable contributions including overseeing the compilation of the classic Confucian work and proficiency in multiple languages. However, after Emperor Qianlong's death, Heishin was executed by his son, Emperor Jia Qing, and all his wealth was confiscated by Jia Qing. Although Heishin's son was spared due to the plea of the princess, the family fell into poverty, marking the end of the story of a powerful figure in Chinese history. If you are interested in the feng shui arrangements in Hessian's home, feel free to leave a comment and I can share more details.